Hey everybody, thank you for picking our Keyring M 3-axis stabilizer. If you've never used a 3-axis stabilizer of this style, you may run into some issues or you may not know how, exactly how to use it. Uh, we want to teach you some basic principles, or at least I'm going to teach you today four basic principles. Uh, the first of which is mounting your camera and balancing it properly. Second one is motor strength. Third is tilt and drift calibration. And lastly, the uh, follow settings, follow strength, and then uh, some other basic parameters. So I'll get into it now. First thing you got to learn in order to use your Keeling M properly is how to balance and set up your camera on it. Without balancing your camera properly, the uh, stabilizer may not work properly. If the camera is well balanced, you'll find that it's able to sit in any angle without rolling or falling too much. If the balance is off, you'll find that it just flops around. It doesn't stay in any angle, it just wants to roll. Same with the other axis. For lighter cameras, the stabilizer can compensate if the balance isn't perfect. But if you're using a heavier camera, then you'll need to have it more exact, the balance. If you look at the bottom of the mounting plate, we have two screws here. This screw is the, uh, is the basic screw for mounting on the bottom of the camera. It's a basic uh, tripod screw. And then this screw is uh, for the plate. You can slide the plate up and down. And one thing to note is that this screw pulls out. You can pull it down just in case uh, this screw is in the way. So you can pull it down and tighten it if need be. First, we're going to mount the camera to the plate. We do that by securing the screw to the bottom of the camera. Once it's secure, you want to keep it as close to here as possible. Keep it as close to this axis motor as possible, so we know what. Tighten it. And then, from here, we'll loosen the screw so we can move it up and down. And we want to balance it so it stays upright. Before you really start balancing out the rest of the gimbal, you gotta go through some basic settings on the camera first. You wanna remove the lens cap. Uh, second, if you have a longer lens, you wanna set the zoom uh, before you start balancing because the zoom will affect the lens. And as well as like on our Sony, we have a screen that can move. So you wanna set the screen to a position that you're gonna be using first. And once you get all that ready, then you can begin balancing out the stabilizer. On a side note, it's best to have a tripod when you balance, it'll make everything easier. Now we gotta do our tilt axis. So the first step in doing your tilt axis is line up the lens with the axis so it's straight. And then you can kind of tell which way it's wanting to fall. See, ours is falling backwards. And then you know which way you need to move the camera. So since it's falling backwards, we need to move it forwards to balance it out. And the goal is to get it to so you're still falling backwards. The goal is to get it to stay, stay upright with the axis, have the lens point, point forward. So now it's better, let me tighten it a bit. So now you can see that we've got the tilt axis fine. It's not falling forward or backwards, it's staying right where we want it to stay. And now the second step with adjusting tilt axis is you want to face it down so it's pointing straight down the lens uh, lined up with this axis and uh, so if you let go you can see that it's rolling back towards me so you want to push this up to counter it. Now it's rolling the opposite way so I need to push it back down. I've gone too far. See now it's balanced. I just tighten it up. You can see now it stays this way as well. This axis is stabilized now. Next is the roll axis. So the roll axis is basically the same thing. You hold the camera so it's, you know, at a straight 90 degrees parallel with the axis. And then if you let go, you can see it's rolling towards me now. So that means I need to push the arm out. And you just watch which direction it goes. You just go opposite of the roll, basically. So now I've gone too far. There we go. And now this axis stabilizes as well as balance. So there we go.
last is the pan axis. Pan axis, basically, we're going to hold it this way. Uh, so it's, you can see it's at a right angle, basically, from the handle, or from the controls. And you can see which way it's falling. So I just want to counter that. Okay, that's about right. You can see now it just sits there, and that's balanced now. As you can see now, our Kylan M is balanced and it can stabilize properly. Now you can see maybe a little bit of movement, a little bit is okay, as long as it's not flopping around or anything like that. But now you're ready to go and shoot normally. So adjust the setting, just open the app and connect your phone to your Kylan M. In the settings panel, you'll find the motor strength options here. And there are four levels of motor strength to pick from, from low to high. And you can test each one by one to find the highest level without vibrations. This will all guarantee better stabilization. All the gyro sensors in your Kylan M can be affected by different environments or temperature, humidity, which can cause issues like uh, drifting or one of the axes like maybe moving on its own by itself or tilt like a, where it's tilted during normal use. Uh, this is normal. This doesn't mean that anything is wrong with your stabilizer and it can be corrected easily through calibrating with your phone. In the phone app, you'll find that there are two types of calibrations. There's a drift calibration and a level calibration. Let's do the drift calibration first. Before starting drift calibration, you'll need to turn on your stabilizer in uh, the calibration mode. To do this, you basically just turn on, hold down the power button for 5 seconds until the light flashes blue. And then you'll need to set your stabilizer on a table or other stable surface and make sure that it's still. Press the drift calibration button and wait until the calibration ends. Then you can restart the gimbal. Before you start the level calibration, we highly recommend you set your Kylan M on a tripod uh, to keep it steady. We also recommend you not to use a long lens, or even better, just completely remove the lens. Because while it's stabilizing, if it rolls and the lens gets in the way, that'll affect your calibration. Same as before, you want to hold down the power button for 5 seconds to set your stabilizer into uh, calibration mode. Now just open the app and connect your Kylan M to your phone like before. Choose the level calibration option and your gimbal will start to move and calibrate automatically. Normally we call this a six facet calibration as it calibrates all six facings automatically. In the app you can also find the parameter panel. And on it, this is the follow strength slider, both in pan and tilt directions. If you set the strength value too high, you'll find that movements recorded this way will feel very abrupt. So normally we keep the values a little lower so we can retain a nice smooth feeling when recording. The area sitting decides how far you need to move the handle before the gimbal follows the movement. So if you want the gimbal to be more sensitive to your movements, you can set the value low. If you want the gimbal to reduce more of your natural arm movements, you can set the value higher. For some Sony camera models, you have an option to charge your camera battery with the gimbal. Uh, currently, we're using a Sony A7S S2, and you can see that when we turn on the charge function, the charge indicator appears on the camera. Now, please note, though, that not all cameras support this feature, so you'll have to test it and see if your camera supports it. When using your Kylan M, you'll find that there's three tracking modes. So the first tracking mode is pan, which is orange on the LED indicator. It gives you left-right movement without tilt. The second mode, which is purple, is uh, omnidirection, which gives you pan and tilt. And the last is lock, which is blue, and it keeps your camera locked in place, even if you turn. In omnidirectional mode on the app, you can turn on roll, 
which allows you to roll your camera as well. You can also change the position of your handle very easily with the gimbal on or off. You just loosen the screw in the back here. You can also pull it out and then roll the handle down. We hope this video helped you out. Uh, if you still have any kind of issues or problems figuring out your stabilizer, please don't hesitate to contact us. In the description below, you'll find our contact information and shoot us an email, let us know, and we'll be happy to help you out.